Hey there, brother. So listen, thank you very much for sending your uh, screen grabs through. So uh, eighty nine fifty one. There ain't going to be much you'll get out of this from a personal point of view. You're doing really, really well. I've spotted a couple of things we could maybe look at though. Um, but yeah, the reason I'm I'm trying to look at that first of all, I'm I'm trying to identify if I've got any XP uh, to work with. We've got like forty nine. So happy days. Um, I'm looking for what your weaknesses are. Eighty nine fifty one. You haven't really got many weaknesses on that, brother. That's going to be absolutely superb. Um, very impressed with your Avengers, some hard work, uh, you know, to get them to level 10 at this uh, this level, so absolutely fantastic there. Uh, there should be quite a good uh, attack method, and clearly, I mean, either you attack this method or you actually have um, set up to do the events, I'm guessing probably event uh, set up on, on something like that. Um, now, just an observation, what I have gone back to, I've gone back to normal Humvee at the moment. Now, once I have my... Um, Humvee IFV then obviously I, I've built lots of Humvees for um, you know for obviously well I, I don't need crits do I you know what I mean so once obviously I've got these to level 10 I've, I've gone back to predominantly normal Humvees because you can get a lot more in a platoon and they cost less to repair I haven't got quite the firepower but the fact you've got more of them generally makes that uh, you know uh, you know actually a, a good trade-off um, I'm liking this. I mean, it's 16 seconds before um, your um, mortar men come out. Maybe I'd drop that to maybe closer to eight. Um, just for the, uh, you know, get at least four or five to six mortar men, um, you know, out out early on. Then you've got the snipers. I mean, I've got mortar men, mortar men, mortar men. That's, that's my personal preference. But this is, uh, I know, um, I know Johannes does... Um, Snipers in defence because they're rather good at taking out the the buggies and things like that. Um, so you know it's a good way of working. Um, so maybe maybe you want to tweak that. Maybe you don't. But what I'm looking for, if you'd stacked all your Humvee, uh, so if you'd stacked all your mortar men on that first slot, then they're not going to come out, are they? So and people do do that. So you know they don't realise it takes time. Uh, I'm also looking for attack screens to see how people are developing. So if, for example, you've got somebody who's got five tanks and a couple of mortar men, you know that they just trying to steamroller through they're not really tactical uh, if you've got people who haven't got the Humvee IFV yet or the um, the uh, PK then obviously I'll be guiding them towards that in the event if you've got people who've got um, say four tanks in the war factory on, on the first slot you know they come out after about a minute you know again you'd guide them that way so you're just looking for patterns and trends I mean obviously your your base I mean you said you're a newbie um, uh, you certainly aren't I mean that your base is very very strong um so you know um if you're doing well certainly on your screens now i can get a more information out of that screen than often the base because i can't tell obviously how long your people come out uh i can't tell how long um you know the uh, the barrett's going to take to deploy and things like that where i can from that screen and that's why i asked for it now my only observation is i think your footprint's too big personally uh, this is the same form I had up until quite recently. I mean, the positives, everything is protecting everything. I think you've obviously uh, worked that out particularly. I was trying to find out where your weak spot was. I suggest the suggestion, and I think you know this, is probably coming from this side here, take out the helicopters. I'd maybe personally have the helicopters more into this middle here. Um, you know, at least then, um, you know, you're going to have to come in to take your helicopters. It may be you've calculated that if they take your helicopters, then the other two survive. So I understand it. Uh, but I suspect, you know, if you um, if you were to obviously use your own attack method against yourself and use your Avengers on your war factory, take out the choppers, then I, I think you're pretty much going to be in bother. Um, so I'd maybe move that helicopter if it was me. Now, if I was attacking your base... Um, Problem is the two minds, isn't it? And I think that's that's obviously where you uh, you know, redeem yourself. But I'd be tempted uh, to um, obviously try and get that helicopter out and come round. Again, you're probably going to get caught by this mine. But I guess what I'd be thinking if I could park a tank somewhere around where your um, where your power station is, then everything's going to aim at that. Um, I suspect even that one will pick it up as well. Yes, yeah, so if I was about here. Just to the right of the power station, then uh, that and that will lock on. I could take out the flak and then I could probably get in that way. But I think you covered your bases quite well with those two mines, mate. But I definitely would still move that helicopter. Uh, you've got maybe a small uh, chance of a, a quick respawn in this sort of area here. So maybe you could fix that. But I mean, overall, mate, your two areas that people probably would attack, you're covering quite well. 
Um, maybe be careful, obviously, underneath this one. I mean, again, a couple of mines, so you're probably covering your bases, but, you know, if you can get underneath that, in between where those two mines are, um, I mean, if you notice, I've got um, my Humvees closer stacked together. That's my typical format. Uh, you notice I can get a lot more of the, the normal Humvees in, for example. Um, but basically, if I could get the dam in between those two mines, which you probably can't nowadays, can you actually? No, no you've, you've covered yourself there. Um, but I suspect that probably would have been one area that some people will try and attack on. So I guess that leaves, if, you, if you're if wanting to attack, it probably leaves that you're going to come this way. Now, I'm going to show you what I'm working on at the moment. So I've just redeveloped my base at the second. Um, hasn't really cost XP. It's just obviously a different layout. If that wants to fire up. Now what I've been doing is I, I used to be in T4, um, so when I was in T4, if there was a base that I just couldn't get anywhere near, then what I generally did was copied it, and this is, um, uh, well not copied, I took photos of, and then I've obviously looked looked back at those and thought, oh that'll work quite well. Um, so what I'm trying to do here is a much smaller footprint, uh, all the walls touch, so obviously none of my uh, people escape, uh, none of my vehicles escape, obviously I know you know the concepts of that. Um, but it also means you've got to come in a lot closer on the mine. Your, your defensive perimeter is obviously wider than mine is. Uh, again, I've got my mines well spread because I'm thinking people are going to try and circulate and look for a way in. Um, I've made sure my spawn zones are well far out. Um, I'm concerned I might have a little bit of a gap in the middle there. I might need you to do a base check for us. Uh, but I'm trying to sort of maximise it so that the... Um, spawn zone is as far away as absolutely possible and then that gives obviously a chance to get things deployed uh, it gives a uh, chance for uh, you know people to come out of your barracks and obviously you you know your well, war factories to start getting uh, things mobilized um now the other thing i would have looked at for yourself if you look, check the last uh, upgrade the um salvos now that they're uh, obviously uh, aim rather than uh, just obviously fired uh, you can't get underneath them as easily. There's still that zone underneath, but on the way there, it will pick you out. Where it used to just fire over your head, uh, but these are more devastating now than uh, the howitzers. And again, I'm aiming for the same as yourself. Everything's covering everything, so you know I've got a lot of a lot of respect for what you've done with your base. But I'd maybe, if it was me, I'd maybe uh, change my um, salvos to howitzers. Now I've just upgraded my CC, so you're a little bit ahead of us that way. But up until that point, I had every single weapon with every maximum upgrade on it. Um, so literally whatever um, whatever uh, kicks I chucked at us, I could adapt very, very quickly. Um, so machine guns have become the latest and greatest. So every every turret had a level 5 machine gun on, every turret had a level 3 flat. T took me ages to do it, um, but it was well worth the investment. So obviously I'll have to start up again, but it just means that I can adapt and change my... Um, my defense so if, if kickside changes something tomorrow uh ram trying to swap turrets around and find the, that 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 one that you might have unlocked on that particular one every turret i've got it so obviously that's important to uh, to have a little look at and don't be i mean you may be thinking oh, lydia i'm ready for t4 um you know now well are you i mean you know is everything on your base uh you know upgraded that can be uh is every mine upgraded that can be i mean obviously you don't want to be upgrading your um your minefield this part because obviously that costs xp and you ain't got it um but you know make sure that your mines are upgraded um you know in that sort of part i'm not yet because i've got other things to spend it on um so make sure you've got that as every every you know get the humvees maybe to, i mean you probably need to get them to um um you know a high level but then you can't can you because you've only got 140 you know you need 140 so now i appreciate where you're at and uh, maybe you will need to upgrade before too long but you know what if you can uh, stay about because you're going to need a hell of a lot of money to go up there so if you can get a few events under your belt because you're probably going to need about 20 million to get up to um uh, to get up to t4 because otherwise uh, you will if you start as a 38 player in t4 mate it, it's very very difficult you you do need to get up to uh, to speed uh, very very quickly uh, there's no easy fight out there uh, and there's a lot of people in t4 that have been in t4 for a long long time mate you know that's what i found i mean some of these guys you you tell they've been level 47 uh, for the long everything is knocked out mate when you have it you know it's very very difficult to uh, you know have a defense or attack against you uh, they really are someone else on the higher end so 
obviously the F8D people and the H8D people. So just make sure you've got everything maxed, um, you know, uh, where you can, brother. Um, when the time comes, I do have a level up matrix. Uh, so it'll show you what you can upgrade and what not. Uh, I, re I reserve the right to be wrong on it because obviously everybody does something different. But it's maybe something you could uh, have a little look at going forward. Okay, brother. So um, you know what to do uh, if uh, if you're going to be helping out uh, in recruiting and training. This is obviously what I go through each time. I make sure that they give us the uh, initial screenshots. Then I get these base videos. And then obviously I, I give them some analysis uh, like we are now. And then if they go away and obviously read, uh, develop their base, then clearly check again to make sure that uh, it works. It's um, scouted. I often attack the base as well. If, if I spot something on your base that I've thought, you know what, I'll show you my, the issue, then I would have attacked it. But I probably waste quite a bit of oil. Uh, you've got a very, very good base, mate. So well done.